Welcome back to my class, man. In this video, we are gonna talking about carbohydrate a little bit in detail. So we are gonna be discussing about the functions of carbohydrate and classification of carbohydrate as well. So if we talk about the major scientific definition, that it may be defined as polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones or compounds which produce them on a hydrolysis, and they are primarily composed of elements like carbon hydrogen and oxygen and the name carbohydrate literally means hydrates of carbon furthermore are the most abundant organic compounds or you can say that molecules in nature if we talk about the functions of carbohydrates then they are the most abundant dietary source of energy for all organisms and carbohydrates are precursor for many organic compounds as well such as fats and amino acids the carbohydrates participate in the structure of cell membrane and cellular functions such as cell growth adhesion and fertilization and they are the structural component of many organisms these include the fiber of plants and um, exoskeleton of some insects as well and the cell wall of microorganisms and furthermore if we talk about functions of carbohydrate then it also serves as a storage form of energy to meet the immediate energy demand of the body if we talk about the classification of carbohydrates then they are broadly classified into monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides and the categorization is based on the number of sugar units basically and mono and oligosaccharides are basically sweet to taste crystalline in character and soluble in water hence they are commonly known as sugars now we are going to talk about the monosaccharides separately they are the simplest group of carbohydrates and they are often referred to as simple sugars they have the general formula cn o n and they can now be further hydrolyze basically the monosaccharides are divided into different categories based on the functional group and the number of carbon atoms for example aldoses and ketoses are the examples of monosaccharides when the functional group is monosaccharide is aldehyde so they are known as aldoses when the functional group is a keto group they are referred to as ketoses Based on the number of carbon atoms, the monosaccharides are regarded as triosis, tetrosis, pentosis, hexosis, and heptosis. So now we are going to study about the oligosaccharides. Basically, contain the two to ten unit monosaccharide molecules, which are liberated on hydrolysis. Based on the number of monosaccharide units present, the oligosaccharides are further subdivided into disaccharides and trisaccharides etc so in the last we are going to be talking about the polysaccharides which are polymers of monosaccharide units with high molecular weight they are usually tasteless non-sugars and form colloids with water the polysaccharides are of two types homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides so that's all about the classification of carbohydrates functions of carbohydrates and the definitions of carbohydrates hope you like the video so don't forget to subscribe and like it